Or what's uh, got here do to Rasputin? Don't know why I'm doing this accent and it's literally just changed. Rasputin, I need help. Was that him? In the flesh. Allow me to introduce you. My dear hostess, Anira Narodzinska, and my dear friend, Viktor Shulsky. Your father had a beautiful funeral. Yeah, I want to talk about that, cuz. My dear, we finished for today. Now I'll find out what brings Victor to us. Well, I've got two Sally tools, so, um... Uh, can you help me? Very funny. I need hypnosis. I don't look great. Let's see what you brought with you this time. Close your eyes and focus on my words. Well, I've actually got two, so watch out this time. On my voice. Relax and focus within yourself. Follow my voice inside yourself. Am I going to see two? Because I got two. Where is he? I don't see him, but I can sense. Oh, there's one. So that's how you want to play. That chirping of his is unbearable. Do you hear him? Good. That means you can locate him. Point him out to me. Focus on his song and show me where he's hiding. He's being a bit of a swifty one. Show us your destiny. Where is he? You have him. This ugly motherfucker. Oh, it's just the second one. Cause I got <laughs> I got two Sally's with this time. Do you see him? He's remarkable. Remarkable. Ugly ass snake god. I I can't tame him. Yeah, he's just about a twenty foot snake. You can and you will. Look, he's afraid of you. Calm your heartbeat. It will scare him off. Calm yourself. Rasputin has literally been through all of it. The Thaumaturge is more scared of the Kazi than Rasputin is. And I got another point for taming. I tamed two. Now I'm even more powerful. No one will come between me and my fists. Yes, it feels that way. What year is it? Still 1905. Well, that's good. Time flows on inexorably. Have you seen the future again? I don't know if it's the future. It could just be some symbols I don't know how to interpret. Heavy clouds drifting over battlefields. Did you watch me sleeping? Okay, I, think I guess I'll be off then. Narodzinski's hospitality any further. That distressed woman you mentioned, Svetlana. You know, I saw her in my vision. That surly maid brought me the gossip about her that was going around town. This Svetlana is causing herself trouble. Uh, this gossip, may I ask? Well, let, let's get into the get in the tea. Your eyes. She intrigued me. I'd like to meet her. And you know, I think she needs help. help. With what? What do you want me to do? Bring her to me. I won't keep you until next time. Oh, bro, I just got kicked out of a party of this. So yeah, I'm not sure I can. <laughs> I'm not sure if I can make that happen, but you know. Let's see what we can do.
Pretty sure I got everything in this hotel from last time, so I'll just walk straight in. Shut up, Snake. Did you think we wouldn't find out? Need your tsunami. I hope you clean up after yourselves. Rumiantseva, you're giving me a camera. But I haven't done anything. We can always come up with something. Arrest him. A hot hands, bro. You know. Nah, bro. There's there's fucking four of them. I think I know what my strategy is gonna mostly be though. Get this cuzzy out of here first. Uh, there we go do that let him let him do his thing this trait's disabled cool mm. There we go. 23. What an arse pull. That's alright. Yeah, he, he's got his focus back. Let's just knock him the fuck out. He's in breakdown state. Hmm. The water this cousin GG. Now we're actually gonna switch out. Umpra give me more to uh give me more health. I will be getting a lot of damage dealt to me. But it's okay. This should be this should be good. Cool. Yeah, damn right, bitch. This cozy right here. Ah, oh, I kind of do need to attack him for some health. This is like a last just effort. Then I need to switch to my other guy, Ulkavak. And I'll be able to get my attack off. This should go. Bro, this whole sequence was so difficult. I'm not even joking. I was like, this was a pain in the ass. And thank you very much. Get absolutely peace. Let's actually go talk to Switwana. If you hadn't shown up here, I need a moment, leave me. Uh. Why are the Ohana after you? Evidently, they got tired of sending threatening letters. Or maybe it's because my last soiree ended with a scandal about the Governor General's daughter. I think they're looking for someone to blame. But you had nothing to do with what happened to Sofia. I know, but how can you be sure? Hmm. Could 
truth be told, yeah, Victor. There was a wild salutar at the party. Anyway, if I hadn't caught him, then Samira. Your father was right about you. Don't you dare. No, don't you dare. You're the one who caused the trouble, so you're going to arrange my safe transportation to Vienna. Is that clear? Yes. Good. Uh, I shouldn't Enough just bring it up now. Yeah. But I have no intention of staying here a moment longer. Where may I await your return? At the Radzinskis. Perfect. Can you leave immediately? Come on. I'll hail you a carriage. Wait, this is why you don't see the carriage? truth. I never go anywhere without it. This is why you never tell the truth, guys. Bring out my goddamn father. If you rode with me to the Nadazhinskis. If I'm going to help you, I first have to visit the place where a friendship was born and more than one hope died, where the gods of chaos lounge amid the absent fumes. What? I need to go to the London bar. Just hurry, please. Why the fuck do I need to go to that place? Tell me what brings you here. There's a certain woman who'd like to disappear from Warsaw. Conventional transportation isn't an option. What exactly do you mean by disappear? I'm looking for safe and discreet transportation to Vienna, on the double quick. Sadly, the ships can't help. That's not our line. Passport policy is a nightmare, and smuggling will get you the news. Not worth it. But I know a man, Javier... Javier something or other. Find... Uh, although, finding him might be tricky. <laughs> this is a whole goose chase. You know anything more about this Javier fellow? He's a legend. He smuggled socialists, contraband. Recently, he had seven kilos of TNT inside biographies on Scour. Why is he so how, hard to find? How did he get that? Through? Because he's the best at what he does. You know where I can find him? No. Thank the gods of chaos that you've got a great buddy like me. You should talk to Foreman Romek. He usually recruits day laborers in the Povista district. He knows everybody there. Thanks. I'll head off. Not so fast. Have you been to Povista since you got back from your travels? Mm. Last time I was there was more than 15 years ago. Well, it's just like it used to be. One big fishing village where everybody knows one another and gets along. Ask around, and you'll find Javier in a snap. Thanks. If it feels that easy, surely everyone else can just find, find him. Right. Waiting for some sweets. Something tells me I'm... Have you been waiting long? Just a moment. Why do you always sound drunk? Like, Welcome back to always. Square. Every second of the day you sound A drunk. Lot of good memories. Hmm? That's true, I do have fond memories of this place. You were so small. You, Ligia, and Fetia would always race from the Drushki to the Bull. And then we'd hold up the entire line until we finally decided what filling we wanted in our donuts. And Vigya would always rush you. That's because he only liked the Mushlam. Who does that? <laughs> anyway, I'm guessing you need my help. You truly Is it? are your father's son. Is it? To the point. To the point. Is it about I kicking someone's ass? Because I love doing that. About a certain incident at the Imperial Hotel. I swear there's another quest up there. Is it about the confusion that supposedly aroused during one of the recurrent soirees? Do you know what happened there? Yeah, I was no, there. Not at all. I wasn't there. What? Good. Because the party know nothing about attracted the interest of several important figures. 
I'm just saying. But that's not what I wanted to talk about. It's about Petya. And the Imperial Hotel, someone, a boy, fell from a balcony and he is dead. Those hyenas from the Warsaw Courier have already jumped on it. How is it linked to Petya? Is he all right? Yes, yes, he's fine. But she's he's getting some poon. That wretched balcony is part of his apartment. Okay, cool, cool. Who is the guy who died? Ludwig Krajewski. He and Petya were from two different worlds. You know, the Krajewskis are... They're not wealthy. That's so alright. wrong with that, but how did he and Petya meet? That you have to ask my son. Okay. And what role exactly am I here to play, uncle? Do what you do best. Use your powers to find out how Ludwig's death is connected to Petya. Okay. With all due respect to Stasi, I don't want to make the same mistake judging my only son as he did. I want to know the truth, whatever it is. And those Krajewskis. I know the press is trying to... I mean, at least, he, at least he's trying to, you know, come up with the truth, even if it means his son might be the person who untrue. ended up unloving him. And where can the Krajewskis be found? They live in a courtyard facing apartment of a tenement house near the Imperial. I'll see what I can do. Thank you. Thank you. Go. I stay here for a while. Yeah, seems like you really need the rest. And then I just start banging on the door. Glory be. Thank you. Please, come in before it gets back. Let me at least offer you some tea. Should have went with the proud arm. There is something here. Should have went with the proud answer. Tell that cousin to fuck off. I need to do more proud answers. I need my pride to get higher. I need to be like Vegeta, bro. And okay. Is there anything else around here that I'm missing? Come in. Would you like some tea? My name's Krajewski. Zygmunt. Viktor Shulski. Thank you. Maybe later. I have a question. Is it about Ludwig? Since you brushed that new sound off. All right. Ask away. Can I ask you about Ludwig's belongings? You've looked around by now? Okay. I found a photo of a young woman. Who is she? This is Hannah, Ludwig's sweetheart. They had been seeing each other for a while. She was here not long ago. After what happened. An elegant man's coat. Is it Ludwig's? I don't have the heart to sell it. Ludwig liked it so much. Pietja gave it to him. Oh. Okay. I've seen the doctor's bill. I think this is trash. Did Ludwig live here with you? Not much recently. Yeah, there was a little, kinds of there was a little bit of a thread, but I don't know. Dances, horse racing. Did it happen often? What? Yet he has invitations? Yes. I would tell him Ruskis were not appropriate company for him. Perhaps Ludwig was impressed with it all. You bet. But if you ask me, Yetja was using Ludwig oh, so that others would admire the third him for spending time with a poor man. So, there you have it. Damn it. Okay. Yeah, proper little relationship. Yeah, now I'll leave. Don't need any more. Where are these thoughts leading me to? Ah, 
I'm sure I saw something. There we go. The grave. Okay. Cool. Now I need to go to Petra and see what the hell's going on. Hello. Mr. Shulsky, hello. Shall I inform the authorities and hospitals, or shall I wait? Your last visit has become somewhat of a legend. Oh, come on! This time it'll be quiet, I promise. I'm here to see Pyotr Voronin. Is Master Voronin moving out by any chance? Uh. Never mind. Where can I find our guest? Room 213, second floor. You've been there already. I'm just, I'll just do legendary shit, you know. I just, you know, bro, I just, you know, walk and breathe, bro. I'm just, everybody wants me, you know. I'm just a legend. 99 overall, bro, all the badges. What up, Petra? Who's you bitch. That? It's just my cousin. Hello, Victor. Meet Thomas and Franz. Oh, yeah. Oh, I forgot he was our cousin. I'd like to have a word with you. I've heard you're in trouble. It was Papa who sent you, wasn't it? I told him to stay out of this. Tomas, Franz, show my cousin the door. Oh, hey. Okay. I can tell you probably in some way. You have to be guilty in some way. Ain't nobody, ain't no way somebody's just instantly going. Take this cousin out. Like, bro, I'm literally your cousin. All right, we'll put, put him like this. Do a planned attack on him. And then I'll switch it to this because he can't do much. Book attack. Easy enough. Oh, knocked right the fuck out. Damn. Okay, okay. Um, change it to Um player. Obviously, do this. Uh, I do it after him, so I can still attack. There we go. And then easy. And even if he doesn't die here, come on. A 14 punch every time because he's lethal. Oh, sorry. As you can see, I can be stubborn. Congratulations, Franz and Thomas are top customers. Well, speak up. I don't have all day. What? Something loot you keep searching. Okay. Let me take a look around as you wish. Let me fucking goofies. Look at you. Put yourself or put your body on display for this guy. This dickhead. Is that all? Oh, okay. There's something around. The way it's like um spreading out. Something is here. A scared person. Okay. You can tell like if something's around by how like your perception how long your perception takes. I need someone to snitch. Oh, no, nah, don't mock them. 
Don't be a dick about it. I'd like to ask about Hanya. Hey, Zedenic. There's a stalker here asking about Hanya. Oh, come on. Grab your buddies and get him to stop bothering her. Another fight. I can't ever do anything. Like, bro, leave me alone. So what I'm gonna do is go with Umpra first. Remove all negative effects. I don't, I don't really care about that. Okay, Umpra, you go over there, attack Kazi. I'm gonna try and get into this Kazi psyche. It won't work the first time, but I can get him the next round. This one guarantees that this Kazi dies. Okay. Good. That's good enough. I don't really care. Hmm. I need a disable of Lilic. This is the one I got. Alright, I should be I should actually be able to kill this Kazu before he gets to me. Easy. And then another one. Okay. Kinda fucked that. Can't lie. Just cook attack. Easy pickings. What's going on here? I've just come to work to find all this hustle and bustle. The boss said you asked about me. What is it? Miss Hanya, I'm Victor. The guy from the balcony at the Imperial Hotel. You were there when Ludwig died, weren't you? I remember no such thing. Ah, oh, see those thoughts. I know you went out with it must have been devastating for you. Once again, I don't know anything. If these drunks here were still standing straight, you'd be sorry. Leave me alone. Yeah, but they're not standing straight because I beat the shit out of them. There's more stuff for me to find. I know there is. Oh, there's a cell you tore. Once again, I don't know anything. Well, oh, book of up, but I can manipulate her. Holding on to that contract weighs heavily on you. It's unbearable, isn't it? It causes you great pain. Your oh, this is easy. Will disappear if you give it to me. You will get your peace, I promise. I can't take it anymore. I can't. It reminds me of what I don't want to remember. I'll give it to you. Uh, you, you, you didn't say much. Here, their contract. Thank you. Tell me, what really happened that day? Ludwig and Pietia were both drunk and made a bet. If Ludwig walked on a railing, Pietia would pay him. A lot. Ludwig was confident. <laughs> he teetered and... Why didn't you get rid of the contract? You could have destroyed it. I wanted to, but I was afraid Pietia would send someone after me to save himself. The contract is proof of his guilt. But it was my idea for them to sign it. The Kayevskis paid you some money. You could have gotten married, gotten away. It Fair enough. Now. Take it. I'll be good. Thank you very much. Anya, quit chatting. There's beer to be sold. I hope you'll use this contract wisely. What do you mean? Pietia deserves to suffer after what he did. Yeah, he does seem like quite the idiot. Well, shoot, boy. No matter how much it hurts. Ludwig and Pietia got drunk and they made a bet. 
Ludwig had to walk on the railing for a large sum of money from Britja. <sighs> we know how it ended. Britja. Britja. What have you done? That was such a dumb, dumb bit. There's one more thing. Evidence. Proof of Pietia's complicity. I believe you should have it. It will be very hard for him, but truth has to come out. That's all, Uncle. Thank you for taking care of this matter. I believe that if your younger self had this kind of support, your life could have been different. Tell me, what will happen to Pietia now? Unfortunately, from what I understand, the Krajewskis have finally agreed to talk to the press. Maybe it's better that way. Don't worry about it. Got to stay strong, bro. Ten feet. What do you think I should do? I don't know. <laughs> it's getting late. I'll take a walk and think. Good night. Good night, Uncle. Good night, Uncle. Hey.